Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve the remaining question of exercise 7.5 which is from chapter Introduction to Trigonometry. Now let's recall a few points which are required for solving these sums that we need the trigonometric ratios and we already know that these trigonometric ratios are applied on a right angle triangle. So our procedure will be that we will read out the question, we'll draw the diagram, we'll get a right angle triangle and then we'll figure it out that out of these three trigonometric ratio, which ratio we are going to apply, right? So let's read out the question. An aeroplane pilot flying at an altitude of 4000 meter wishes to make an approach to an airport at an angle of 50 degree with the horizontal. So the plane is at the height of 4000 meter. So this is the plane let's say and it is at the height of at an altitude of 4000 meter. So we got one component of right angle triangle which is the perpendicular. So uh, it wishes to make an approach to an airport at an angle of 50 degree with the horizontal. Now the horizontal here is this line right and this is going to be the angle let's say. यहाँ पे आपके पास 50 डिग्री बनेगा यहाँ से आपके पास डिसेंड हो रहा है प्लेन टुवर्ड्स द एयरपोर्ट राइट सो दिस इज द एयरपोर्ट सो वी गॉट दिस एंगल एज 50 डिग्री बट फॉर सॉल्विंग दी सम्स वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट थीटा और द एंगल शुड बी विद द बेस सो सी दिस इज द अल्टरनेट एंगल्स सो वी गॉट 50 डिग्री ओवर हियर एज वेल राइट सो वी गॉट वन बेस right okay how far from the airport will the plane be when the pilot begins to descend so what we have to find we have to find this distance remember we are not supposed to find the distance traveled by the plane but we just have to find the distance between the airport and the plane right so in the solution we are going to write let b be the distance of plane from the airport so now you see out of uh, these three trigonometric ratio which ratio we are going to apply perpendicular and base so tangent theta we are going to apply tangent theta that will be equal to perpendicular over base now we'll insert the values instead of theta we are going to write 50 degree Perpendicular is already 4000 and base that you have to find that is B. So we'll cross multiply 4000 divided by tangent 50 degree that will be equal to 4000. Right. So at the end you have to write the plane will be. 3356.4 meter far from the airport when the pilot begins to descend right hope you understand the sum let's move towards the next question Okay. Next question is a Gaia wire which is called a supporting wire runs from the middle of the utility pole to the ground. Okay. So let's see this is the utility pole and the wire is running from the middle of the utility pole. If we call let H be the height of the utility pole then the wire is running from the middle so H by 2 will be the height of the wire. Okay. The wire makes an angle of 78.2 degree with the ground. So this is going to be the angle that is 78.2 degree. I am not going to make the exact angle but just I am just going to I am, I am just drawing the uh, diagram right now. With the ground and that is the ground 3 meters from the base of the pole. So this we got 3 meters. Find the height of the pole so that we have to find height right. So how we are going to write, let H be the height of the 
pole tangent let's see uh, which trigonometric ratio we are going to apply we got one perpendicular one base and the angle so we are going to apply tangent theta tangent theta will be equal to perpendicular over base so theta will be 78.2 degree perpendicular is h by 2 and base is 3 so tangent 78.2 degree that is a c2 my pass will, will move towards the denominator so 3 into 2 becomes 6 and h will be equal to 6 into tangent of 78.2 degree so you will just insert this right hand side inside the calculator and it becomes 78.72 meter so we got h the value of h already h was taken to be the height of the pole so therefore the height of the pole is 28.72 meter hope you understand the sum let's move toward the next question okay next question is question number eight a road is inclined at an angle of 5.7 degree right let this is the base it is inclined at an angle of 5.7 degree 5.7 degree will is a, a kind of very smaller angle so 5.7 degree right suppose that the, uh, that we drive two miles up this road so this is going to be two miles up the road starting from the sea level that is from the base how high above the sea level we are so what we have to find we have to find this height right so we got the three components of a right angle triangle so let's solve the sum let h be the height above sea level remember to suppose that what you have to find right now let's sort out which trigonometric ratio we are going to apply this is perpendicular and this is the high hypotenuse right so this is perpendicular this is high hypotenuse so we will apply this trigonometric ratio so sine theta that will be equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse let's insert the values sine theta instead of theta will write 5.7 degree perpendicular is h that you have to find and hypotenuse is 2 so h is equal to 2 into sine 5.7 degree so h is equal to 0.1991 month, right we don't uh, forget to write units so and then we are going to write we are point one nine nine miles high above sea level right so i hope you understand the sum still if any point is not clear to you please ask